I looked at all the images from the Phoenix Landers microscopic imager back in 2008 to search for movements in the soil starting from the first sole after Phoenix Lander first landed. One sole is equal to one Martian day, uh, similar to one Earth day. The Phoenix Lander landed on Mars close to the Arctic Circle near, near the North Polar region. Water ice was present in the soil at the time it landed. It threw thousands of images for several months until we lost contact with the lander at the beginning of its Martian winter. In 2008, the Phoenix Lander science team claimed that all the necessary nutrients to sustain life was found at the Phoenix Lander site. In fact, they claimed that this is a type of soil you probably have in your backyard. Uh, you might be able to grow asparagus very pretty well, but probably not strawberries. That's a quote from them. There are some extreme files that can take the long, brutal journey to Mars. They can survive the vacuum of space, drain heat, thousands of times more radiation than humans can. This is a Phoenix Lander microscopic imager soil 123, 123 souls after the Phoenix Lander landed. It look, if you look close enough, you can see that these microscopic-like objects that are circled look similar to the tardigrades. Also note that there is a shadow under them, meaning that they are elevated. They are about the size of the smallest Earth-based tardigrade. It also looks like one of them is chasing the other one. If you look even closer, they appear to have legs on them. In the last frame, one of them appears to have a scorpion-like tail. Also note that if they were dug up, they were taken out of their environment like fish out of water. The Phoenix Land of Science team did confirm that they found water ice under the, the lander. Salty water ice, like perchlorates, and then were trapped under the soil. It could form a thin, thin, briny liquid because the soil has trapped all the water vapor and gases, creating pressure underneath. In other words, there was a thin film of briny water under the rubber. Now we're going to zoom in to the objects above them and look at what may be happening to them. Now look at this circle of rock-like objects as it moves slightly sideways. Look closely at the bottom of it. Does it have legs too? Or is that some kind of gooey substance? The tardigrade I showed earlier can survive the vacuum of space and go into hibernation-like state for up to 10 years. When the te temperature heats up outside, it comes out in its hibernation-like state, move around to feed, reproduce, and then when it refreezes, they go back into their hibernation state. So basically those kind of life forms, if they're similar to what on Earth, uh, extreme files, could survive the extreme temperatures there on Mars. In 1998, Tor 39 anaerobic bacterium, non-oxygen breathing bacterium, were found two miles down in a South African gold mine that excretes out magnetic iron, magnetite. Tor 39 magnetic iron were similar to Allen Hill 84001 Martian meteorites magnetic crystals and may be similar to Viking and Phoenix Landers magnetic crystals. Uh, in Earth atmosphere, microbes have been found as high as 53 miles above its surface, which would be similar to about 20 miles above the surface of Mars. One has to think that maybe Tor 39 bacterium is responsible for magnetic Martian dust in its own atmosphere. But with all that said, I'm going to leave you with this thought. I'll let you decide what is real and what is. It.